to session. All right, so we know that um, <clears throat> if the president dies in office, which has happened nine times before, the vice president takes over. But what happens if both the vice president and the president die, um, which has never happened, but there needs to be a, an answer, right? I mean, it could happen, they're hanging out together. Often there could be some sort of um, attack on them and we need to know what would happen next. Um, so the constitution is, has listed in order, um, which has kind of changed as more cabinet positions have opened, um, who would take over next? And the answer is the Speaker of the House, the leader of the House of Representatives, who is currently Nancy Pelosi. So theoretically now, if Trump and Pence died at this exact moment, um, which hopefully won't happen, um, Nancy Pelosi would be president until Biden takes over in January, right? Um, but, but who else? Well, they got a list, it's, it's, and it's a long one. Let's check it out. Um, Vice President, Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, President Pro Tempora of the Senate, that's Mitch McConnell. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo. Secretary of the Treasury, Defense, Attorney General. And you can see all the way down here, um, most recently the Department of Homeland Security was added as a cabinet position and they threw it down here as the very last in the order of presidential secession. Um, Cause cabinet positions come next. So who do we have? We have the president, vice president, we go to the House and the Senate, the leaders of each in that order, and then cabinet positions, and then cabinet positions, right? Um, and, and the next question you're probably going to ask then is what are cabinet positions, right? Um, and, um, and that's where we're going to end up next. So um, let's go ahead 